Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some pioneer slivers, and uh, we've got an unkeepable hand. We've got no lands. Well, we got lands and an icon. Uh, we'll keep, I guess. Just, uh, hmm. Yeah, we'll just dump one of our muties. Say, yeah. We'll say, go. Go up against Turkey Feathers with a nice Ikora thing going. Oh, Dark Steel, huh? Okay, okay, we're getting into more guys. That's good, that's good, that's good. Uh, yeah, let's just go Silver Hive, play out our Gale Rider. And we'll be getting going right on curve here. Seems reasonable. They're not doing much. Oh, I like that. I like that. Let's go Muta Vault and... Yeah, we'll go Leeching. Yeah, let's go... You know what? We'll, we'll play it safe. We'll go Diffusion first. And then drop our Leeching Striking next turn. Just in case they, they, you know, they've got some removal or something that we don't know about get ahead of them. Seems reasonable. Get him for one, pass the turn. And a scattered grove. Alright, so they didn't play anything last turn, so doubt they're going to do anything this turn. Oh, that's nice, but we don't quite need that right now. We'll just say sliver. And we'll go like this. that leeching down we'll just drop everything next turn we can go icon sacred foundry tapped we're swinging for four gotta love the leeching leeching on point they're gonna be in bit of a pickle next turn with this icon coming down Skyclave. Uh, I want to create two tokens that are copies of Skyclaved. Okay. Just playing it for what it is. This is a Zendikar Rising one, huh? Oops, what did I just do? Alright, another Leeching. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Um, That's pretty nice. Let's go ahead... Pay the two. We're gonna go like this. Cast a leeching, and we'll swing with our muta vault. And hit them for a whole lot of damage. Boom boom bang. That's a lot of triggers. Maybe we can say yeah, okay, that's fine with me. Alright, have no clue what we're up against. Um, I'm assuming they probably got like a Karn in there or something. We can grab a Pithing Needle. Just try to go really fast. Maybe drop a... Uh... Hmm. What do we want to drop here? Striking? We'll drop the Striking. We'll keep everything else. All right, give me a good hand. We've got a lot of lands. Oh, man, this is not ideal. I kind of want to mulligan this. I want to be more aggressive than this. This seems pretty slow. And this seems problematic as well. <laughs> Uh, that's a lot of diffusions. They won't be able to touch our board. But, uh... We need a land? Ugh. It's 
that's rough. Um, nah, we'll mulligan. All right, well, we got to keep this. I don't want to go any further down here. Get rid of Pithing. I guess get rid of Sli Sliver Hive Lord. That's fine. Uh, maybe I should have just kept the first hand. It's a start. It's a start. We'll both play our breeding pools. Bone Scythe will be nice. Bonders Enclave. Fusion. Okay, we're getting places now. Let's go. Let's go to Fusion first. Cool. Works for me. We just need to draw into one more land for the Bone Scythe. Skyclave. All right. There it is. All right. Beautiful. Uh, so I'm just going to put down Icon here. Just buff our board. And then we'll go Bone Scythe next turn. And then Leeching. Depending on what they do. I mean, if they hold up something that may make it seem like they're holding up counter spells we may wait but they haven't been yet we haven't seen any still nothing how intriguable well now this makes me want to go metallic into leeching yeah let's do let's do metallic into leeching and we'll just seal the deal with uh, bone scythe No counters. This is like the second time. Last week we had a deck like this too. Or we just like, what are they playing? They're not doing anything. <laughs> Except making me look up their deck after the game so I can figure out what this is. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, uh, okay. So they're putting counters on target artifacts... And it becomes a creature. So I get to take on my diffusion. Fair enough, but we're getting a bone sight down next turn. That's going to be pretty gnarly. Tap out. Yeah. Alright, what is this? Chant artifact you control at the beginning of your upkeep. Create a token that's a copy of Enchanted Artifact. And if you control eight or more artifacts with the same name, you win the game. Okay. There's the combo. There is the combo. So, we're on a little bit of a clock, but they're about to be as well. This double strike is going to be no joke for them. I'm assuming they have ways to copy this even more efficiently. We're not going to be on an 8 turn clock. We're going to be on like a 3 turn clock or something crazy. Um, Alright, we're just going to go Bone Scythe. Try to finish this game up here. Tapped out. We're swinging in. Boom, boom, bang. Now, will they take or will they block? Do they have a way to go off next turn or are they going to have to chump block at some point they're gonna chump block works for me all right they go to seven they get a copy of this relic so it doesn't actually make a copy of it as a creature because it doesn't have counters makes sense 
And let's see what else they can do here. Tapping out for the mana. Destroy all creatures. All right. We need a collect a company or something. I'll take that though. All this is fine. Pass to you. Okay. More of these coming down. And they might be able to put down a kicked Skyclave? Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. Alright. Fair enough. Keeping us at bay. They had the double Supreme Verdicts. Get on in there. Oh, Sea Dasher. Hello, my friend. So what are you now? Can't see the thing. It's just a 3-3 still. And they get to draw some cards. Well, it's a start. It is a start. It's too bad we can't also icon this turn. That would be nice. Oh, so now they got two. So oh, that's cool, man. That's cool. Oh, but is that working? They mutated on top, so now they, they're not mutating their Skyclave. I wonder if that was a misplay on their part. I feel like that might have been, because they have, if they had put this under, they would have still gotten the Skyclave, right? A uh, copy of the Skyclave Relic, and they would have kept going. So now they kind of reset themselves a little bit, if I'm looking at this correctly. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know if they were happy about that. I think they had to put C Dasher under. It still would have been able to give them a card, but because they put it above, it became this guy, and now it's copying this. Unless that was their plan. Unless that's what they wanted. Ooh, they've got a kick, though. That's gnarly. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Well, get another icon. Doesn't really help us here, so I think I'm just gonna do this. Try to look for some creatures. Gale Rider is going to help us, definitely. Right? No flying on any of you, right? Good. Alright, we're going above. We're hitting them again. Lethal presented. Next turn. Two cards in hand. Hopefully they don't have a third Supreme Verdict. They have three sea dashers. Yeah, I feel like they might have messed that up unless they can. Three, four, five. Unless they got another Skyclave that they can kick. Because I I don't know if this will mutate to a ski, Sky Dasher. Yes. Uh, my only other question would be with uh, mechanized production would be if they mutated with the octopus, but because this is still enchanting Skyclave as well as Sea Dasher. Would it still make them win the game if they kicked another Skyclave and got into eight? If you control eight or more artifacts with the same name as one... Okay, so it's just... It's just 
control eight or more artifacts with the same name as one another. So if they had a Skyclave, they would have been able to win, but it, we would have had to wait till the beginning of their next upkeep. So we would have had lethal on them unless they could have wiped the board. Okay, so yeah, so we had the game on lock. That's good. What was our next card? Pithing Needle? Ooh, just turn off Mechanized. That would have been nasty. That would have been nasty. Good game. That was cool. That was a fun one. I haven't played this uh, this deck yet. So uh, leave a like if you enjoyed that one. Make sure to subscribe for more Pioneer Slivers coming up on Friday. And we'll have some Popper Slivers coming up on Wednesday, kind of like we did last week. But leave a like and leave a comment down below if you enjoyed. And we will see you guys in the next video.